I'm Judith Jones, food and travel editor of the Gourmet Travelista, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the perfect tuna melt, a classic which we all love. So what you'll need is two slices of bread. Now I have chosen sourdough bread, but you can have wheat bread, uh, white bread, whatever it takes your fancy. I have two slices of sharp cheddar cheese. I have here half a can of tuna. I have about five to six sliced pickles. One tablespoon of mayonnaise. One teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And some salt and pepper to taste. So we've got our cast iron pan here. We've got it to a medium, medium low heat. We're gonna let that get hot for our grilled cheese. Now let's first of all make up a quick tuna salad. So we're just gonna pop in our mayonnaise, our Dijon mustard, and our salt and pepper. We're gonna whiz that up, because that's gonna be our lovely filling for this. Classic, classic sandwich, which we all love. Great on a cold wintry day when we just want some comfort food. That's what we like. So, that is all mixing in lovely. All right, so let's get our bread and our butter. I almost forgot, so two tablespoons, one to two tablespoons of butter, and we're gonna be spreading that over our slices of bread. So be nice and generous with your butter. Let, it, um, let your butter go to room temperature so you can spread it easily. Of course, you can use, you know, marge or whatever you like on this, but good old butter does the trick. All right. And on the other. Let's make sure our heat is going here. Medium heat. All right, so. Once that's all lathered on nicely, we will put one of our breads, butter side down, onto our cast iron pan. Then we will get one slice of our cheddar cheese. We've got it using a sharp cheddar cheese and we're just gonna place it down on there like so. Let's get our tuna, uh, tuna salad mix. And that is just gonna be spread on top of our cheese. Yeah, delicious. All right, we'll spread that around a little. Get it all in there. Now that bread is gonna brown pretty quickly. Only takes a couple minutes. There we go. So once that's all spread, let's get a few of our, uh, our lovely juicy pickles. That's gonna give it a great crunch to the sandwich. And we're gonna finish it off again with our other slice of cheddar cheese right on top there. So you've got cheese oozing from both sides, which we just love. Now let's get our other slice of bread, butter side up. We're just gonna place it down on top of the sandwich. Now, give it about a minute or so, and we'll do a quick flip. So we gave our sandwich a quick flip. We've had it on there for about two to three minutes, and that's just about done now. Our cheese, our tuna, it's all oozing into each other. Oh, smells and looks fabulous. Let's cut that. Oh, delicious. This, for me, is the ultimate indulgence. There you go, let's plate it up. Like so, and look at all that. How beautiful does that look? And there you have it. That is your fabulous, perfect tuna melt. Thanks for watching today, everyone, and make sure to subscribe to our website to watch plenty of other fantastic videos. And if you have any email requests, you can email requests at mahalo.com and we'll be sure to answer any questions or queries you might have.